can show for y'all. Got a damn good show. All right, so the uh, residents up in Boston, they upset, they mad because they closed down a, a community center. Community center? Yeah, closed it down. What are you talking like, YMCA or something? There's a community center, and they, they're using it to house the illegal immigrants. And now the residents in Massachusetts, uh -huh. they upset. Check out the video. Massachusetts just closing a community sports center for four months to house well, they're just gonna be mad about locals this. there. Let her know they are <laughs> not happy center. about this decision. More. Why do you think it's okay to take our resources from the citizens of Massachusetts? I gotta go. You know we're everywhere in the state. Right. You know we're. No, that's not an excuse. More. You serve us, More. not these illegals. Really not these house. illegals. No, you don't. You need to. You yes, need to deport them. You need to deport them. Lame excuses. Don't give a fuck about the motherfuckers that was born and fucking raised here. Y'all raised the fucking rich. So. Not. Can't afford to live here, but y'all gonna bring some other motherfuckers here? That doesn't f***ing add up. It doesn't make no f sense. None. None. I'm f***ing homeless. I work a full-time job, 40 hours, and can't pay to live here. How the f*** y'all gonna bring somebody else here? Don't make no f***ing shit. None. Nigga <laughs> mad. Negro mad. And I saw your outrage. Why are you outraged? Because this place was, like you said, it's free. It was a place for our children. Our children. I, I have four children. And it's sad. You know, I have four boys, you know. And... We really don't have nothing in the community that's free for us. Don't get me wrong, it's great that they want to help the immigrants, but what about the Americans that are already here? What about the people that are already here that don't have homes, that don't have jobs, that are sleeping on the street already? These people came from the airport here, probably on boats, probably on buses, and probably all for free. Now they're getting stipends, they're getting what else? I need money for me and my kids, and I was born here. Like, you know, I know life is a struggle in itself, but this is not the answer to help them. Now it's going to destroy our community more and mess our children up more. Like, this is sad. I know a lot of people don't even know about this. I came here last night with my aunt, saw a lot of stadies, a lot of police, and this paper wasn't there yet. They just did this probably two, the three in the morning when they brought them here. <laughs> when everybody sleep, that's when they brought them here probably. On buses, I saw um, New York plates. I saw Washington, D.C. plates. So they have that much money to come from Washington, D.C. to do this, to do that. Why are they not helping the people here first? Yes, ma'am. Let's... Hey. Why did you vote for him, bitch? <laughs> hey, if you want to get a Negro's attention, take his basketball from him. I know that's a low blow, a low blow, but it's the truth. They don't care. They didn't care. Oh, I don't care about it. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to break a nigga's ankles. I want to take some basketball, <laughs> shoot my three, go home. <laughs> now they took y'all's basketball, took your court away. Oh, now y'all upset. Well, it's, it was more than just that, Kelly. No, there's. Well, well, you said there's more? Well, 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 explain it to me. No, man, it's like... Like what? I, I heard a pain in y'all's voices, but y'all voted for all of this stuff. They don't care. The only reason why they care is because their kids don't have nowhere to go now. Play basketball. That's the only reason why they care. I heard the black woman, say, she's like, um, you know, I was, okay, we can help the illegals. Okay, that's fine. No, it's not fine. That's how I know you voted for all of this stuff. Yeah. Now Jose gets to play basketball. Now Javier Jose and Jesus, Jesus, now they get to play ball. They ain't even playing ball. They're in there kicking a soccer ball around. They got y'all's basketball, and they playing soccer with this bitch. <laughs> they took the hoops down and, and put the hoops for the damn goal. You kick it in the square, Jose, you win go. Go, go, go. That's what they're doing with your shit right now. But you see, you niggas are upset for the wrong reasons. Y'all should have been upset from the very beginning when they was bringing them here illegally. Y'all didn't care. Now because y'all can't play y'all's basketball, y'all can't break a nigga's ankles, now y'all mad. Hey, let me say this. Like, they say this is a conspiracy theory that white people are being replaced. 
No, I actually think these people are replacing the black voter. Yeah. Because y'all are lazy when it comes to vote. Y'all don't even vote. I mean, yeah. when y'all do vote, y'all come out strong for Democrats. But y'all lazy when it comes to voting. They're going to make these, like, blacks used to be the number two demographic in this country. It's not that way anymore. Yeah. You know yeah. what it is? Jose. Javier. Jose. Jesus. Jorge. Diego. <laughs> Diego and the <them. laughs> They the number two demographic now. Y'all don't y'all don't see y'all can't yeah. y'all don't see the writing on the wall what they doing. Yeah. Y'all number three now, which means y'all like what black in this country doesn't mean anything anymore. You're like number three. Yeah. Y'all threw away y'all vote for years, decades, since the beginning of time. Yeah. Now y'all really worthless. Now yeah. you bring in Jesus, Hector, Josue, Jesus, Jesus. They bring in Jorge. <laughs> And it's like y'all don't they don't give like Democrats don't give black people any substance. All they say, oh, pick this black woman for judge. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's black. Mm -hmm. That's why oh look, vice president. She's black. Bitch ain't even black. Yeah. That's a real she's, she's Indian. Shouldn't have said that, huh? Yeah, you gotta take that out. You can't say that. I mean you you had to you had hey, keep over here sensing me in here. <laughs> no, that was crazy. You can't say that. Why can't you? You can say it, but you, there's some repercussions. <laughs> there's, uh, there's some consequences, well, ramifications, a, uh, and repercussions. You well, you beat more. that. Well, let me say this. I'll meet you halfway. We still got freedom of speech, right? She's one of them red dot Negroes. How about that? <laughs> yeah. that about I guess that's okay. I cleaned it up. I fixed it. But you understand where I'm coming from, right? They mad for the wrong reasons. They only mad because they're taking resources from them. If that would have never happened, they just steal what Oh, just for. taking resources from like white people? Oh man, they'd be like, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's, you yeah. got one group demographic people leeching on other people for free stuff. Now you're bringing all these other people, just giving them a bunch of free stuff. Now these two demographic people are gonna be fighting each other. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Something about something about something about to happen. <laughs> you see how mad that Negro was? <laughs> This company, this country, is coming to a boiling point. Hey, that's enough. What do you mean? No, well, we got to stop it. Yeah, and come together as one. So old. ain't nobody coming together as one. Yeah, the bright people in this country got to step up and vote for the right people. Cause there's always going to be a bunch of idiots and ignorance in society that's going to just take down everybody. That's why I want to have faith. I don't have faith in black people. See what I'm saying? You, hey, I'm you talking? I'm talking. That's why I lose faith in the Negro. Hey, Kevin, it's, it's just like Negro. if you have it. Yeah, white people voting for that too. I know, Keith, but not at the clip. As, uh, as these Negroes, these Negroes are messing up everything. See, white people 50 50, right? But 50% Democrat, 50% Republican. I think it's about, I think it's really about 55 45. Yeah, conservative though, that lean conservative, 45 Democrat, right? Oh, you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Then you got the Negro, right? They call themselves African American, which is stupid in itself. Um, they vote 90, 10, 95, I five. I think it's higher. Yeah. That's why I don't that's why I put more of the onus on blacks. Because you're in this position the way you vote. That's why we even in this position. Yeah. The onus falls on them. The Negro. It's that burden. Yeah. Our ancestors are from Africa, but that don't make me African. If that was true, Elizabeth Warren, if Elizabeth Warren is Native American, get it as a joke. Yeah. My wife, uh, seventy-five percent Native. Is she Native American? Nope. She don't wear no feathers or nothing. She don't do no rain dance. She don't. She don't. She don't build no teepees. <laughs> Just because you have an ancestors, it doesn't make it, unless you really live in that tradition. The culture. Yeah. If you yeah. Like, if I went to Africa and I knew every uh, African culture, every dish, and I spoke African, yeah, African. I went back to my roots, yeah. then I call myself, okay, I'm going to embrace my African heritage. Yeah. But shit, I barely know English. I don't know. What's that shit they wear? Uh, <coughs> dashikis. Dashikis. The dashiki? Yeah, it looks hot. Looks like burlap, too. Oh. I don't like that. It looks... I ain't going to put no It's like somebody, look like something grandma would sew together or something. After church, it looks ridiculous. Like them Christmas sweaters. Dashikis looks horrible. Look hot. 
Every time I see a Negro wearing it, I just laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, man, you got all this name brand shit. Why are you wearing that? Yeah. Nike making better shit than that. <laughs> hey, man, let's get back to the topic. You voted for it, and that's what you get. You go pick up a prostitute. What? Right? Two o'clock in the morning. You decide to wear no condom. Is it a prostitute's fault you get AIDS? You get herpes? You get a, uh, you what? get Ebola of the penis? No. Nah, it's not the, the prostitute's fault. It's your fault. Should have known better. Should have known. More than the best. Yeah, I like that dick Ebola you said. What was that? Ebola the penis. Oh. Hey. A, a, Ebola the cock. <laughs> I got hey. Ebola in my balls. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway I got going. E Ebola lick it out of my cock. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. Yeah, Ebola is when your eyes bleed, right? <laughs> Back to your cock bleed. <laughs> right out the head. Oh, oh, man, you got blood licking out. I think you got Ebola in the cock. <laughs> Hey, got a new giveaway going. Hey, giveaway of Ford F-250 and 10000 in cash. The end of the win, go to officialhousetwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah. <laughs>